Hey friends, it's Blizz the official craft nerd and today I've got three spring farmhouse DIYs coming your way. So for my first DIY, I dug into my clutter y'all and found a bunch of these Halloween Day of the Dead signs um, and decided I'm going to turn these into a shelf. <laughs> so bear with me with this. Uh, it actually comes to pass to look like a shelf. So, but uh, I'm just kind of measuring these out, kind of seeing how I want to lay these out. And then I'm going to deconstruct them a little bit. As you'll see, I'm just going to take off um, one panel off of each of these and then just kind of configure them together. So I know a lot of you might be thinking why I didn't just glue these all together as they were instead of taking them apart. In my mind, I thought that that little um, hanger piece was going to be too difficult uh, to pull off. Um, later on, I realized that it actually wasn't <laughs> that difficult to pull off, um, but I just thought it was easier to just take that whole panel off. and do it that way. Plus I wanted to give more space in between my shelves instead of having just little, um, little tiny shelves. So, um, basically when I glue this together, I'm just flipping these over as you see here, <laughs> Captain Obvious, huh? Uh, and I am going to take some popsicle sticks. Now these are from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm using them to just secure the backing, uh, for my shelf. So once the back was completely secured, I went in between those little gaps uh, between those two shelves there and put some hot glue and then took my trusty clamps that are from the Dollar Tree, of course, and used those to hold it down. And it worked beautifully to keep these shelves um, nice and secured. So I decided that I didn't particularly care for um, how the sides of these came together. So you can kind of see there's like little gaps um, between the two uh, of these pieces, uh, these signs or whatnot. So all I did was take some of these jumbo popsicle sticks that I have from Walmart uh, and cut them down to fit inside of uh, each of these panels just to kind of cover that up. So once it's all glued and secure, I decided to go ahead and give it a good couple of coats of one of my newer favorite 
uh, paint colors, which is the Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream. This is a beautiful color, y'all. If you haven't tried it, you need to. I, I swear to you, the video doesn't give it justice. I absolutely love, love, love this color. So you see me kind of coming in after I use the foam brush. Now I'm using just a regular paintbrush just to kind of get in those little nooks and crannies uh, and also to do the side coats as well. Um, I do do two coats on the sides as well, but I'm not too worried if any of those colors kind of pop through and you'll see why later on. Um, but I get all of the little edges and all the little, you know, hard to reach places that the foam brushes just can't get. And if you didn't already guess it, guys, there's the antique wax. I am going to dirty this bad boy up. So I am going around the edges, in the corners. You know the drill. Um, this particular piece, though, I will wipe it down. I didn't want it to be so stark, um, you know, with that brown. But I just, I went to town, y'all. You know I love to do this. So, you know, and if it's not your style, that's, you know, that's completely fine. You could do this any old way. Um, any color that you like uh, but for those of you that have seen me and been watching me you know that I love to de-stress stuff and to dirty it up and it's just my jam y'all <laughs> So I didn't particularly care for the fact that this, the width of these signs and the popsicle sticks really didn't line up, um, but it was, wasn't was such a big amount that I could actually trim it on the popsicle stick. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just decided, you know what, when all else fails, just cover it with some kind of rope. <laughs> so I'm using some of my macrame cord, um, rope, whatever you want to call it. I got this from Amazon and I've had it forever and I use it all the time. Uh, but I just thought the tone of this would work perfect just to kind of go along the outer edge of this shelf and basically just cover up those, you know, awkward sized edges there. And speaking of Amazon, if you guys don't already know, I am an Amazon affiliate and I do leave links down uh, in the description box below for products that I use all the time. So if you're interested and you want to get, you know, grab something for yourself, uh, definitely check it out down there below and get you some. And this is the final piece, guys. You have to tell me what you guys think about it down in the comments below. I added a couple of decals on there with the rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. But the end result, I just thought, was super chic and vintage. And I love it. And as you guys know, this is my monthly challenge, your Craft Your Clutter. And my handsome co-host this month is Chemo from Chemo Craft. And this is an open playlist for anybody to join in. That's held the last Thursday of every month. And if you guys do not know Chemo, you guys have got to check out his channel. He is super, super talented. 
the most adorable DIYer I have ever met. You will love his projects and just his videos. I'm telling you, get over there and subscribe right now. Well, no, wait, after the video. You know what I mean. So for my second DIY, I am using this a cutting board that I've had I don't even know how long this has been in my stash you guys uh, but I was like you know what it is time to dig it out it is time to do something with it so I decided I am going to give this very stark white cutting board a nice couple of coats of my rust-oleum chiffon cream again I can't say enough about this color it is just it's fantastic uh, and to cover this up because of the plastic, um, I did notice it was going to take a couple of coats, um, but again, the final result was just beautiful. So once it's completely dry, I am taking some of this uh, printed uh, tissue paper uh, stuff. I don't even know exactly what you would call it, <laughs> but it's from Tim Holtz and I'm a big Tim Holtz fan and have a ton of his products. And like I said, this is your craft, your clutter challenge and y'all, that's a part of my clutter. So I said, I am definitely going to put this to use. And I'm really just kind of, you know, fussy cutting, you know, these flowers out and I'm going to Mod Podge it down. Um, I'm not the perfect Mod Podger by no means, but I definitely love these little uh, squeezy bottles from the Dollar Tree uh, of the plaid Mod Podge. I mean, it just works perfect for projects like this. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put all these different cutouts on to my board. There's no rhyme or reason. You can use stuff like this, like tissue paper. You can use napkins. There's there's plenty of things, printouts, whatever you have, um, just have fun with it.
So I do give the whole board a coat of the Mod Podge. And as you can see around the handle, a piece of the paint came off because it stuck to my hand. So uh, what I did was wrap some of that good old fashioned uh, cord around it again or rope. Um, I did not put that in the video because I was pretty out of frame on that and I don't like doing that to you guys so I'm trying to do better with getting these videos better shot for y'all to see what I'm doing obviously so uh, but yeah I just simply wrapped it around the handle and that was it um, but of course there's more you know what I'm gonna do guys three two one there it is I mean I can't get away from this stuff so I am going to do like I did with my first project and we are going to dirty this guy up because it with these flowers just has such an antique-y, uh, vintage -y feel that just melts my heart. Like I absolutely love this style. Um, but yeah, I just, you know what I do? This is what I always do. <laughs> And this is the final piece, you guys. You do you love it as much as I do. I absolutely love this. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Okay, so for my last DIY, this one is super quick, super easy, like, and just adorable. Um, Basically, I found these paper cardboard tags, I guess they would be. Um, I got those from, I think, Tuesday morning. And I'm just taking two of them and, of course, giving it a quick paint job here with my chiffon cream. Uh, and I'm going to do that to both tags. Now, once those are both dry, I am taking some of this tissue paper. This tissue paper, you guys, I got from Dollar Tree. It is beautiful. I had been seeing some of my fellow creators finding this gorgeous uh, tissue paper from the Dollar Trees, and I was like, wow, I've never seen it. And I finally found some and was in love. So, this floral I thought went perfect with my other project and if you guys know me I definitely like to try to keep all of my projects that are in one video pretty cohesive with each other so I am taking a piece of this tissue paper and again just a big old piece I, I know it's bigger than the tag that's completely fine what I'm doing is just gonna mod podge it real quick and I will show you how I trim up the edges So once that Mod Podge is completely dry, and definitely make sure it's dry, I'm just taking a nail file and simply filing off the sides. Like I'm doing it in a downward motion um, and it literally just melts that paper off of the edges like in a beautiful clean line. Like I love it. Um, I did have my cutting board out because I was going to try to just use my little uh, knife to cut it and I was like what am I doing that's no that's so dumb just use a little nail file or a sanding block or a piece of sandpaper whatever it works perfectly for getting those nice 
clean edges. So again, taking some of my macrame rope, um, I'm just cutting off a little piece and actually splitting it. This stuff comes apart very, very easily. Um, and I'm just using one thin amount or one little strand of the rope. I don't know how else you would, what you would call it, but you know what I mean. Uh, and, and I'm just stringing it through the holes of the tags and simply tying them together and doing a very simple bow. There's absolutely nothing special about it. Just easy peasy, putting the two together, tie a bow, boom, done. And I know this is a shocker, guys, but here I go again. <laughs> Dirtying these bad boys up as well. But honestly, this look, they all looked so good together. Um, and that effect that this antique wax gives these projects is just out of this world. I am in love. So these are my tags. This is the final product, project, whatever. And I just, I can't get over this one, you guys. I love it. So if you guys are new to my channel and coming from chemos, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and you hit that subscribe button. To all of my already subscribers, thanks again, y'all, for coming back. I love y'all, and until next time, you guys, stay safe.